Well, good, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to the Old Curiosity Shop. I'm Scott. This is Monday, Monday, the day after Mother's Day, and the meat grinder sat down on the job again and got a little behind in his work. I'll let you guess who the meat grinder is. Look, everything that you see on this table is for auction tonight. Now, I know some of you are going to see this after the auction and go, eh, I wish I knew. Well, you know, I don't always do preview videos. I try to do them when I can. Uh, this is the reason why I want you to tune into those auctions, even if there's not a preview video, because sometimes I just don't do them, can't get them done. And I don't want you to miss anything, but I just do want to make sure everybody understands. I know some of you will see this video after the auction is over. And, you know, as I said, I'm not, I'm not always able to do preview videos. This isn't everything. There will be more. But let's get started. Look at that Hazel Atlas. Pink, pink, you stink. Mid-century, it doesn't get any better. 1950s, 60s, look at this set for six people. And it is perfect. Not a scratch, not a chip, not a dishwasher. Somebody got this for their wedding, used it once, and put it in the attic. Crazy. Hazel Atlas, as I said, pink. Some people say spaghetti. Some call it random threading. Woo! So you get the snack trays. Yeah, lunch and plate things. The little coffee cup with the ring for it. If you're serving a hot, you know, like coffee and pie or that kind of thing. But then it, you might be serving luncheon and you want to switch to a tumbler and then you can have the iced tea. So it's versatile. These are just little ooh, eight inch plates. Put that back on there. Uh, and they're perfect. Absolutely flawless. Depending on where you live. It's going to be expensive to ship because these are going to go in two boxes and um, yeah, probably I, I'm, it's probably going to be two 12 by 12 by 12 boxes. We'll see. But when are you going to find another set like that in that condition? Pardon my little, the pole that just went in front of us. Okay, then a hat box. Wonderful mid-century colors in really good condition. It says Canadians on the top. Um, and then there's the hat box. That came from the estate sale. Uh, it's, there's a little bit of eh right there, but the color on it is really good for the hat box collectors. New Jersey is the diner capital of the nation. We have more diners here than anywhere else in the United States. And several old timey ones in this area have gone out of business recently. The pandemic really hurt some of them and with all the deliveries some of them couldn't survive, and I've been able to get another, uh, some more of this. Now, if you remember, I sold this before. I was able to proc procure more of it. So tonight in the sale, I'm going to have two sets of four, just like I did, oh, two weeks ago, something like that. You only see one set here, but I've got another set on the floor. So you'll get four dinner plates and four cups and saucers. That doesn't include the other 18 cups and saucers that was my little get sale, which was a debacle, and I know what I did. I'm going to do it again. I might even do it tonight. We'll see. But these will be for auction tonight with, uh, with a second set. So the high bidder can have two sets. That's enough to serve eight, or they can just take one, and the second bidder can have the second set. A turquoise pitcher anchor hawking. And then we break the line with EAPG because we don't want our depression glass mingling with our mid-century. No, no. No, no, no. Let me, ooh, what did I just do? Oh, I think I'm okay. <laughs> Let me come up here and move around. I'm going to sell two lots of, three lots of EAPG so you can have the little cruet and the little serving dish or the bigger cruet and the bigger serving dish. And then there's the butter covered butter dish. Somebody told me it was McKee 18 something and I forget. I appreciate it. I'm going to try to go back in the comments and find out who that was and what that is. But that's in great shape. Um, 
Okay, and then you get the two, I'm gonna sell these two champagne flutes. Those are in pink. And they're, uh, they have paneled sides. They're ribbed sides with the, that's not the, ram is that the Rambling Rose? I oh, can't tell. Um, encrusted gold edge. So two very delicate um, pieces of um, elegant depression glass. Just those two. And then this set over here for the kitchen as well. You'll get the salt and the pepper shaker. Salt and pepper. You'll get the salt and the pepper shakers. And then the, uh, what's called the, the, the grease jar. Or for drippings, but I wouldn't, you don't have to put drippings in there. And then one matching mixing bowl. We'll talk more about that tonight. You're going to get a green uh, glow-in-the-dark ice bucket. I think this one glows. I forget. I'll put the black light on it and double check again. It's etched. It's got its handle, which is nice. These handles are usually missing. So we'll have that. And I think together in one lot, I'm selling these two depression pieces. I know that one glows. A little, little candy dish, nut dish, mayonnaise dish, jelly dish, whatever you want to serve out of it. And I'll sell that with this Hazel, with this uh, Ellie Smith Mount Pleasant dish here with little silver. Most of that's worn off, so uh, so we'll do a piece of. Uh, these two are going to be in one lot, I think. A beautiful 1930s console bowl. I thrifted that a few days ago. That this is just really nice, really really beautiful uh, blue co cobalt glass. Look, you remember that? Let me get back over there. I scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed and got all of the paint off of that. Someone improved it as a home craft project. But I took it back to clear glass and this was in a thrift hall you might have seen. It had been painted. I got all that paint off of it. So uh, it's really a, a sort of a deco looking, I love it, candy dish. And it looks so much better, just crystal, just plain. In my in my judgment, that's how it was manufactured. So that was about 30 minutes of scrub equity. Look at this Art Deco range set. You're not going to find it again. I've been holding on to it for two years, and it's time to let it go. It is fantabulous. Circa 1933. Look at that skyscraper design. I should have salt, pepper, flour, sugar. That's the range set. Those are the four things that you would get. Meant to be put on a range, sometimes given away for free when you bought an oven. Uh, they have no corks. There's some crazing and a little bit of the staining on there, as you can see, but not bad and no cracks. And nothing is chipped. I don't think there are any chips anywhere on this set uh, of four. And they're all original. If you've got... <sighs> what just came to my mind was if you've got a craving for savings, if you have a passion for fashion, take the wheel of your automobile and swing on down to Ideal... Uh, that was an old commercial when I was really little. We had a grocery store here called Ideal. And that just came back to my mind just at that moment. Um, so if you've got, <laughs> that one's got a little staining there. If you've got a 1930s kitchen or you just like deco design, these are probably American made. I don't know which uh, pottery company Completely unmarked. Yeah, there are no cracks on any of them. Um, I flipped out when I found these. It's just classic deco. When have you seen it before? When are you going to see it again? Um, a big, woo, 13 inch cake plate. I got to look this one up again. I forget. Is it Jefferson Glass? I always forget who made this one. Wildflowers. Or something or craggy craggy rose I forget craggy daisy glow in the dark as you can see a pretty color of green almost like a coke bottle green uh, 
much bigger than your normal 10 inch or 12 inch cake plate. Very generous, that's for you big, big cake eaters. And then I always like to do a little collection of 30s kitchen things. So we've got three items here all going together. That's an old cellar's jar missing its lid. You can barely see the word coffee, see it? See? Yeah. And then you get yourself a lid for it. And then down under here it says the Hoosier Kitchen Cabinet Company saves. Oh, it's not a Sellers, it's a Hoosier. Okay. So Sellers and Hoosier are both uh, copyrighted names of this type of kitchen cabinet. So it so but generically everybody now just says Hoosier cabinet. Like generically everybody says Victrola. But not all phonographs are Victrolas. So the Hoosier, this is a Hoosier. Okay, saves time. Hoosier kitchen cabinets. You can have that along with these pieces. It's just a little shaker from the 30s with the original lid. Good for uh, uh, powdered sugar if you want. They weren't really calling these muffineers by that time. That, that term had gone out of style. And then this little guy here, which tilts so it, it can stand up this way or it can also stand that way. That might be into the 50s, but these go back to the 20s and 30s. And then I couldn't leave these behind. I've got like 14. Somebody's going to want these. It's, an old, it's a wedding from 1949. And there's the bride and there's the... Everybody getting out of the car. It's the whole thing. There's the church. There she is out in the backyard. There's the, uh, there they are in the car. I mean, could you, would you have said no to this? So I, I'm going to keep them all together. And people do like bridal things. You could decorate a whole wall with that. It'd be unique. Now, you think that's it? No, that's only half of what I'm selling tonight. So come on, see me tonight at 8 o'clock on the Old Curiosity Shop for the live sale. There will be all of this and more. Okay, and once again, I realize that some of you are seeing this way after the fact. Just remember, I'm not always able to get preview videos out. Uh, I try to, as I said, when I can. It just doesn't sort of always happen. So stay tuned so you don't miss anything. And then... Um, you won't miss anything. Okay, now I've got to get busy curating the rest of the items for tonight's sale. See you at 8. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm Scott from the Old Curiosity Shop. Wait for the cat. And so long for now.